Hi everyone, how are you today? So I'm going to be talking about another bag that I purchased um, secondhand. So I purchased on Poshmark. Um, you know, again, going back to buying a bag, I used to buy bags that's brand new, and the value depreciates the second that you purchase. And a lot of the times, you know, you change your mind later on about the bag, and you, you want to have the option to be able to resell it. Um, and so that's why with that in mind, um, the bags that I've been purchasing lately, I've been trying to look for on second hand, on the pre-lift market, so that it's kind of better value for the money. And if you do want to sell it somewhere down the row, you know, you're not really losing out that much. And if you do buy a good investment, you know, you might not lose anything at all if you do buy it secondhand or pre-loved. So the bag that I purchased um, is the Celine Medium Classic. Uh, again, you know, I have a black bag, you know, with the gold setting. So for this one, it's quite specific. I wanted a navy and with the gold hardware. Um, you know, I was you know, quite patient looking around, doing my research, searching around, and I was able to find this bag on Poshmark. Now the seller, she was also in the New York City area, so you know I kind of reached out to her and said, you know, do you want to teach you the transaction outside of the platform? Because, you know, again for me, I save taxes, uh, and for her, you know, her commission because she had to pay X percent to Poshmark. So anyway, um, you know, we kind of email each other outside of the platform and I did meet up with her and when I did meet up with her I inspected the bag before making the purchase and it was in a very good shape and she also had you know the original dust bags and she also had the visual box that came with it the only thing she didn't have was the original receipt because she did purchase I believe it's 2016 or 2017 so it's been a while but everything was in order it was in good shape again like I said um, I met her outside and I was able to inspect the bag inside out before making that purchase so for me it was a very good um, decision you know to be able to inspect the bag and really just touch it and examine it in that way. So she had it in good shape. Um, so I wore it a couple times now and what appealed to me um, was this bag is very minimal um, and the fact that Celine starts with a C and you know my name starts with a C so I was really looking forward to owning this bag. So this bag is, you know, let me start off with the measurement. The height is 7.5 inches and the width is 9.25 inches and the depth is 2.5 inches. Now I don't care if other people said measurement is not important, but to me measurement is very important. Once I start hearing these numbers, I can visualize how big the bag is, if that's an ideal bag for me, is that a good size for me. Just because I'm petite, I don't want anything too big and I don't want anything too small that I won't be able to hold anything. So that's the measurement. So the clasps is you push down on the clasps and it opens. And that's the side view. Uh, same thing, when you close it, you push it down and you release the latch. So the outside is in this calf leather. It's very smooth. Um, I don't see any scratches on it. Um, not really. It's pretty good shape. And inside, um, it's like accordion style. And inside, there's two compartments and a zipper. Now, when I open the inside, the interior leather is very different from the outside. It's super soft, it's like a buttery feel to it, and it feels 
really great when you touch it. It's you know very different inside versus outside. And um, and this strap you could take it off. There's these clasps adjustable and right now it's not the longest uh, she did say that the clasps for her they were a little bit hard to um, you know release it and adjust she said you know she had to go back to uh, Celine's and had the essay do it and I haven't tried just because what she told me and at this length it's the perfect length for me because I wear it cross body so I haven't tried adjusting it um, you know you could take it out there's another there are a couple more holes in there you could adjust it to be uh, over your shoulder or you could take it out completely and use it as a clutch but I think as a clutch it might be a little bit heavy um, it's good when I wear a crossbody if I don't put things in there uh, to kind of weigh it down but I think the way is fine for me so like I said you know I wore it a couple times I really do like it um, just because I think it's the perfect height for my frame and this is I'm just gonna show you um, and I've been liking it what fits in this bag? Um, I mean, it is accordion and you could probably expand it but again because it is a, a more structured shape so it's um, a little bit limited in how much you can expand. So here we go. So I have my phone, my sunglasses keys, my uh, car keys, My key fob, hand sanitizer. I'd like to bring my own just because even though nowadays everybody have hand sanitizer, some of them are so strong they could like eat your skin away. And my lip balm. Um, so those. So that that's what fits inside, and it doesn't look super stretched. So those are the essentials that I could fit in there. You know, I'm sure you could still fit like your tissue or you know, some of the things. It's not really too bulgy right now. So again, this bag is, I think it's 2016, 2017 and is the Phoebe Philo era. Now she's no longer, she left uh, Celine, I think uh, 2018. So she's no longer the creative director. So a lot of people, you know, obviously a lot of people like her design just because it's very minimal. It's very classic. Um, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't have like a big logo where it calls attention, where, you know, if somebody knows this bag, they'll know it's Celine, right? It's right now, there's the logo is not on anything that you could see visibly. Um, it's Celine, once you open it, it does say Celine Paris and on the class, there's a Celine on it, but anywhere else, it doesn't really have anything um again that's the reason that peel that make this bag appeal to me um because it's very minimal it's very classic and again this dark navy i think it could you could use it almost like a black bag as if it's a black bag and you can wear it with jeans um because i do have a lot of navy in my wardrobe so it uh, it, it's a good match for me um, I think especially with the, the gold tone and the navy tone, it's a very classic look for me. Anyway, um, I think it's a good purchase and I do want it to wear it more. But again, you know, doing this pandemic lockdown, I was only able to use it a couple times. Um, I, it, it's a good size for me. So... And I believe I made a really good purchase. Again, you know, when you buy things on secondhand, pre-loved, 
you want to make sure that you do your due diligence um, you know just make sure that that is the purchase that you're going to make and uh, a lot of these when you do buy it you know it's you only have limited days to return it or maybe there is no return policy so just to make sure that you look uh, carefully at the picture that they show ask the questions do your due diligence um, you know don't do a impulse buy just because oh my god you know uh, this is the only one and there's like 50 likes out there but you know if it's meant to be it's meant to be but make sure you do your due diligence and you know before you buy a, a, a bag because this bag was um it's not it's i think it retails to 3900 and obviously it's less on the pre-loved market but it still depends on the condition of the bag some of them still are very expensive um, so and certain colors are hard to come by because I see a lot of blacks I see red um, but the, the navy it's very hard for me to come by um, so just make sure you know you, you do your research and you do diligence before you make the purchase so that's it for me today um, if you have any question or you know comment down below and if you also like the Celine medium classic for the minimal look um, you know let me know and give a thumbs up if you like this type of video and subscribe I post videos every Sunday uh, please support this channel again I do this video as a creative outlet so that you know to kind of put contents out there um, for for people just to view and appreciate you spending time watching this video so give a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care